Alrighty, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Detroit Become Human. This is episode three, and I am so excited. We left off with uh, three different storylines on episode two um, about the android Kara, who was taking care of the jerk's house. I had not seen what fully happened with that story, but there was a little bit there. There was the one who had served the rich ruler who had uh, got beaten up by the street thug protesters in episode one and then had delivered the paint in episode two and then was also showing a little bit of humility and uh, grace in episode three. And then we had the android in episode one. Are you familiar who, with Schrodinger's cat? Until you decide what happens, everything is happening at once, like in Detroit. Interesting. I'm glad she said that because this game is very butterfly effect. And um, I had noticed that it is very important to do everything in the game. So um, she pretty much uh, the third android had caught the girl from dying and he is still alive and well and now with a detective. So I'm very grateful. It's very fun. So far, the three storylines that are going on. So, um, I'm hoping that we get back in. We just solved a murder mystery and found an android in the th in the second episode. So I'm hoping in the third end uh, episode we get a little bit more. So definitely, let's get up inside. I am interested though because we did find the android inside and the detective was doubting our skills so I'm hoping that that, that helps build our relationship. That would be cool. Okay. Bro, he didn't even light it. They didn't even make the animation for him to bring that up to the lighter up to the bowl. They must have not expected me to watch. That's funny. Um, bro, this guy's just a tweaker, bro. There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. Turn on the light, I would think that that's the light switch. Life's funny. I lost my job because of androids. And I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. What do I do? I go out and hire a fucking android. Joke. Of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. Stop moving around, for Christ's sake, you're making me nervous. What are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you 
you scare me, Todd? Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account, damn it! It's all your fault. Daddy, no! It's all your fucking fault! Get back here. Come back here? Come back here right now! Listen, that's what she deserves. First, I need a little hit. You stay there. Don't you dare fucking move, or I'll bust you worse than last time. <laughs> what? They told me to literally wait for instructions and all that happens, and then they told me not to move? That is garbage, bro. Dude, that's garbage. I just wasn't good enough for. Little fucking brat. It's all her fault. to be taught a good lesson. A good fucking lesson. I don't feel like I should not move. I feel like I should wait for him to... Come on, give it to me. Ah! Wait, what? Is she alive now? What just happened? Protect Alice. <laughs> Sheesh, what just happened? I'm so confused. I know what I gotta do. I can't just not move. Boom! Let's go cap him. I don't like this guy anyways. Get away from me, you're not gonna. Oh wow, bro, this game is interactive. Stop, 
No, bro, I got I did that one. No, come on, get out of it. Yes! I want him to die. Bro, that was crazy, bro. I did not expect to have to do all of that. Oh my goodness. Wait, what? There's other options? I could have chose a longer option that didn't involve not moving? What happened? What, what happened? What happened? Was it because I chose not to move? How do I zoom in? So I didn't have to break the programming. Oh, wait, no, I did. Because she had to be come here. She come to find it. So I didn't have to go upstairs. I could have went and did all of this. Dude, are you kidding me, bro? That's crazy, bro. Whatever. This game's crazy. I don't care. I wanted to kill Todd. I'm glad he's dead. I honestly, I feel bad, but he was a jerk. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Scotch, neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Marcus, no, I'm gonna come with you. Okay, well, I'm going to take him with me. He wants to go with me. I don't feel like I should take him, but... Leo! 
What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Be reasonable. This isn't gonna get you anywhere. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect, like this fucking thing. That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes what? it so special Ooh. anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't... Leave him alone! Come on! Let's see what you got! Marcus... Oh, God. Don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? If you're a man, act like one. Stop it! What's the matter, too much of a pussy? Stop it, Leo! Stop it! Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! No. I'm gonna risk- I'm, I'm not gonna make this one go defiant. I'm gonna hold my peace. I wanna see what happens if I don't do it. I have to do it? I can't not do it? I waited like a good like 15 seconds and it was still blinking so I just did it. Alright, whatever. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I got self control and I got shot. Dude. I should have disobeyed Carl. That's so annoying, bro. Like, oh my gosh. I don't care that I died, but it's just like. I tried to not be, I tried to obey because I didn't obey the last guy and this guy was cool and he was nice. So I figured his last dying wish would, you know, his android obeys him. So that was me trying to be obeyive and I died. So I guess it is what it is, but you know, I'm an android. Hopefully I come back. I wish I would have went deviant and whooped some butt. I should have. I should have just, I should just go deviant on everything. I feel like I'm not sure. But I didn't and I died, so I'm just trying to figure that out. I, I don't understand. Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? Say something, God damn it. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm out of here.
We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You can always try roughing up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. Cool. I like this guy. I think he's probably my coolest. Probably one of the coolest androids. Since my other one just got shot, I should have went deviant, man. Let me grab the file. Well, first of all, I'm going to analyze them because I know that you can reconstruct stuff and I know that that's just a good thing. Burn marks? Okay. What was over here? Dried blood. Hit marks. Signs of software instability, probably self destruction. The probability of self destruction is low. Well, that's good to know that the probability of self destruction is low. <laughs> oh, we don't want this thing to blow up now. I'm showing them the photos. You recognize him? It's Carlos Ortiz. Stabbed 28 times. That was written on the wall in his blood. Mm-hmm. Detect an instability in your program. It can trigger an unpleasant feeling, mm. like fear in humans. You're accused of murder. You know you're not allowed to endanger human life under any circumstances. Do you have anything to say in your defense? I'm working on stressing them. Give me a second. If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No. No, please don't do that. Oh. What? What are they going to do to me? just want to understand they know your master abused you it wasn't your fault I mean I just told the truth why couldn't you just have left me there I was programmed to hunt deviants like you I just accomplished my mission I don't want to die then talk to I... I can't. Uh, 
Now I got to choose an approach. I'm going to convince it. I understand how you felt. You were overcome by anger and frustration. No one can blame you for what happened. Okay, then. Don't talk. What do I care after all? I mean, I'm not the one accused of murder, right? They'll make you suffer. And they won't stop until they hear what they want. It doesn't have to be that way. It all depends on you. He tortured me every day. did whatever he told me, but there was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt scared. Scared he might destroy me, scared I might die. him again and again until he collapsed there was blood everywhere when did you start feeling emotion or he used to beat me and I never said anything. But one day I realized it wasn't fair. I felt anger, hatred. And then I knew what I had to do. Okay, what is RA9 stand for? And then what is stature, bro? Like, what is this, bro? I'm only picking options. I know what to do. Instead of running away, I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. All right, I'm going to pick this one because it's been catching my eye. You made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. Offering, okay. The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? Oh, bro, who is RA9, bro? It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. We will be the masters. Bro, no way. Who is RA9? I'm done. What I want to know is, is why wouldn't it like answer a little bit more about the RA9 thing before I got up just now? And I feel like it's really creating deep. It's really getting deep. 
I wasn't expecting all the RA9 stuff to come in. I thought the the red blood was gonna be the deepest lore. I didn't expect this RA9. Don't touch me. The fuck are you doing? Move it. Okay. Calm down. You shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. You don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. Chris, you gonna move this asshole or what? I'm trying. Oh, bro, I shouldn't, uh... I shouldn't have gave up. I should have kept intervening. Bro, when I just lost, bro, I literally just lost, bro. I didn't have to give up, bro. There was so much more. There was four outcomes right here. The Android didn't have to shoot himself. I should have just stood up for myself. So in this game, man, you really just gotta stay to your guns and just do everything that it is you just like what it is you want to do. Like don't don't overthink it. Just keep doing it unless it's timed. Give yourself time to think it through and just be like, no, nah, what are I actually do in this situation? I'm not going to give up. I knew the android was self-destructive. It was at a high stress level. I wanted it to be at a decent amount of stress level, apparently, so it would talk, but not a high enough stress level so it would self-destruct. That's crazy. So that is annoying that I let that guy talk me out of it because I could have just not given up and I could have got the android to live. Why are all my androids dying? Man. Oh my gosh, that's so annoying. How do clothes get clean? Do you know if there's any other place we could spend the night? I have no idea. She's gonna have to leave. We've got to hurry. Well, let's start here. Better in no time. 
Oh, I picked a nice one. I picked a laundromat. That's dope. Alright, I'm not reading all that. It's something about bees. I'm good. Respectfully. Homeboy playing Clash of Clans? Is that what he's doing? Haha! <laughs> Why am I supposed to be looking at this? What's it supposed to do? Why is this some, why is this game sometimes give me stuff to look at that I can't do anything about? Got you. What are you doing? They're not our clothes. We need them, Alice. You need something warm, and I need to get rid of this uniform. But that's stealing. We can't do that. I'm sorry, Alice, but we have to do this. Yeah, them clothes getting got. <laughs> Boy shouldn't have got caught lagging. Man, that was complicated. I don't know if you've ever used your fingers like how they just wanted you to do that there, but that was complicated. That one was a little easier. But trying to rotate your fingers while also doing that, that's a lot. We got the retro on headphones. Nice, now they look normal. Cool. Okay, I remember this. All right, I'm gonna examine this one. Dude, I'm so confused. Why are we walking over here? Okay, so while you're doing that, I'm gonna go look for some stuff. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. You look lost. We have nowhere to go. 
I know someone who can help you. But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. Okay, where'd they give us? Where, where, where'd they give us, bro? I know there's other places I didn't look, so I'm just trying, I'm just interested. Bro, this one's crazy, bro. Like, the timeout stuff. I'm sorry I'm not even, like, talking as much. There's just so much dialogue and timeout stuff that's going on in this game. Oh, there's a generator. Are they going to tell me there's tools for the generator somewhere? And I got to look for them. And they're not going to tell me about them. Like, because that's the type of stuff that I think this game's on now. Literally. Where are the generator parts? It looks abandoned. Why would we break it? Stand back, Alice. Hey, you get what you get. You don't throw a fail. We're coming back to this place if we don't find any. We gotta treat you how you live on the streets. But there is more that there is to examine and I didn't find anything. Um... Let me stand in the middle of the street real quick so I can get hit by a car. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I just need to search around real quick. So there's that thing. There's both of those things. There's this thing. That thing. I'm going to go over here. There's a motel. A motel. Looks like we found a place to stay. Did she just glitch through that door? We're not going in? We can't, Alice. I don't have any money. We have to find forty dollars. Or go somewhere else. Okay, there's two objectives over here, so I'm interested because... I don't know how to get right over there. I 
Okay, I'm gonna go back over here. There was a place over here, though. My bad, guys. I'm just trying to coordinate this well so it's just, like, actually doing something Look, good. The store's still open. Maybe we should go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. Can I steal? Is that an option? No. Okay. Toy for Alice? Ooh. I knew it. Can I help you? I'm with a little girl and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Look, this is a convenience store, lady. Not the Salvation Army. I can't start handing out cash to every bum in the neighborhood. Bro, I can start going full deviant with her. I feel like I should, bro. I got the gun, bro. I'm gonna try something else. Can I just steal money from the cash register? Okay, she's going full deviant. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do it. Wait outside for me. I'll just be two minutes. Wait outside? But why? Please, Alice, just trust me. We're going full throttle on this guy. Open the register. Yeah, you're gonna open that boy. Put the cash in Bills. The Bills, give me that. We can live in that gangster lifestyle. Give me that money.
<laughs> Bro, dude, that's that's dope. He did a good job. A single 20? Well, we need 20 more. We're going to have to go rob somebody else? Bro, this is crazy. We've got some money now. Wait, how did you get it? I just asked the cashier for a few dollars. I'm probably just gonna go to the motel, call it a night. He believed you? I don't know, Ellis. All I know is you'll be nice and warm tonight. Room 28. I don't believe that this would be the room. Oh, wow. We we're very close. Bro, dude, this game is so crazy good. It's so immersive. It literally got me just like struck. How cool the game really is. She got that thing on her. Yeah, let's talk to her. Here, give me your coat. Okay. Let's get these clothes off. They're soaking wet. I'll just put these in the bathroom to dry. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, we are getting this going. Let's talk to her some more. Why didn't he ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Why couldn't we just be happy? I don't know. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. I don't promise. Will we be together forever? Forever. I mean, I feel like I could have shut that window, but I didn't know if it was going to give me the prompt to go to bed. Holy, what was that? Dude, there was so much story to that. So, like... Dude, okay. So, first of all, we go inside the market. And we, we pull out the gun and we do everything in there. We, we leave supermarket we take the money we pretty much was a bad person in this in, in the supermarket we pimped it out um in the parking lot we broke in the car we took another option it could have just ended with us probably what sleeping in the car or us staying in the hotel i pretty much did everything in the laundromat we wore the clothes There's a whole nother outcome we didn't even explore. No, I knew it, bro. Oh, man, that's crazy. That's so crazy. All right. That's, that's, that's good. That's, I'm, I'm okay with that. That's, that's crazy. All righty, y'all. I'm going to probably leave it there. I hope that y'all enjoyed. And if you did, like, subscribe, comment, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming content. And I promise I'm going to keep these coming. Just let me know what you think about them in the comment section. And let's keep the ball rolling. And then we're going to get this popping. Until next time, this has been your boy, Spectrum XP. Deuces, everybody. If you can come at me, boy, then you better follow through. Cause I shake the whole foundation